Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Bastion. So on the last episode, we actually went to who knows where by smoking this pipe here, as opposed to that one episode where I accidentally or erroneously said that we had already been there. Anyway, we're all caught up now. So we are going to continue looking for shards and we are going to go to Rothus Lagoon. And remember, the narrator should be on here as he was on in the last video. And we'll see how I do with him now that I don't know when he's going to speak. Ankle Gators. Sounds like another Another's enemy that I'm probably gonna hate. The children's street originated here. We'll start by taking out this log. Oh god. I didn't even notice that thing there. That's okay, we'll just counter it. If I said we'll just counter it. There we go. 50 experience, not a whole lot, but I'll take it. Alright, and these assholes. Just murder them with the fang repeater, get away as fast as I can. Go and we'll pick up sneaky decoy here. Let's use that and see what that does. Alright, so it creates a model ver like a scarecrow version of the kid that causes other things to attack it. Fine by me. Hey, what's oh, I thought he was I thought he was gonna be an NPC or something. I know that sounds ridiculous in hindsight. Man. I don't think I can counter this guy to death. But luckily they've been dropping a lot of potions so far. Oh, this guy. Well, took an extraordinary amount of damage there as well. Even the brushers learn to fear this place. Okay, all these plants shooting at me. I think I preferred the turrets, thank you very much. Well, they can't even hit me, apparently. Uh, this guy. There we go. Pick up some more experience. We used to Let's head down here. Oh, Lord. Well, they oh, God. How do I get around this guy? Something tells me I probably shouldn't try to irritate him right off the bat. We've got an enlarged medulla oblongata. Come on. There we go. This guy again. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle gators love shiny things. What is this thing? I don't know. It scares me with that toxic gas, though. No, it smells worse than an ankle gator's breath. Does that hurt me? A stink weed. I can't tell, but it does make me see funny colors. Let's go down this way. Ain't time for Pekka on the the kid can't resist. Oh god. These things are serious pains in the asses. There we go. At least I'm still on full health. Can't fight Queen Anne. It looks like he's picked up a new weapon, the Brusher's Pike. Alright, so I've never seen this one before. Now the kid can do the same. Presumably they're gonna give us some kind of tutorial here. Oh. This weapon seems pretty cool. And I probably already have upgrades for it back at the Bastion. Presumably, anyway. Here we go back to full health again. Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. Sadly. Oh, I can throw it as well. Okay. That makes sense. Kids gotta be in this Gotta take out this thing somehow. How am I gonna do this? Let's back up. Oh man, I am getting murdered here. This is a bad time for me. Kind of wish I had my Fang Repeater. I hate to say it. Oh lord, let's do. Fell off the edge. Definitely need to heal. It's going poorly so far. Let's try to take this thing out. Oh, but I can't because the pin cushion is shooting at it. It's got a lot harder than it used to be. Very quickly. Gotta murder one of these things. It's the only way we can get around this. Then I suppose we'll try to take out this guy. A counter would do it. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we can move forward. Maybe this isn't forward, who knows. Hmm. Let's continue countering here. Better safe than sorry. I can't believe I didn't murder one yet. That should do it, right? Maybe not. God, I'm getting torn up here. Back to full health, but I have no potions now. Really could use a better setup at this point. Maybe with my pike I can throw it at them. Okay, I killed one. And the second one must have died through counters. And how about this pincushion? Just try to get a power shot. It still takes a while to kill it, though. Two power shots. 
how am I gonna kill this alligator in one hit? Or in one hit, sorry, without getting hit. In one life is what I meant to say. Closer you get to the gator's land. Oh man. I am frightened. Okay. They say kids gotta make a run for it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Can't harm an alligator unless it's or an ankle gator unless it's raining. Where do I run to? The other direction, I suppose? Can I take out this guy? I suppose we've probably gotta murder his minions first. Then maybe it'll start raining, and then I can move on. Alright, yeah, you come out here. Oh, okay. Make a jump for it. And I'll just roll off the edge if that's fine by you. Thank God he dropped some potions there. Tonics. My mistake. Oh, man. Oh, maybe I can go this way. I didn't even notice that before. But I can't go that way forever, can I? I guess I just want to stay out of the tall grass. Good lord, I am getting butchered on this level. Uh, and I guess we'll just run through this way as fast as we can. See, I'm starting to get the handle of things. I can really use my fang repeater right now. And it's a crutch, but it's a good one, what can I say? Okay, still doing alright. There's a health tonic over there. Let's try to take out these peckers first, though. Peckers and squirts, it's a pretty dirty game. Okay, come down here. Make it out of the tall grass. That's the only thing that's important right now. Take up some more potions. What is that? Ankle Gator Egg. Ankle Gators don't much care for their young. That's why there ain't many around. Alright, well, I guess that kind of does make sense. You'll come through Wanna this way. Oh, it looks like that's a skyway. Okay. Now we might actually have to fight one here. We're back to full health. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. Okay, and there's our shard. Let's pick up the shard. He's got it. Now, to finish her off. now I guess we'll just try to fight it. But I don't hold out a lot of hope for this, seeing as I have no idea what its weakness is. Let's set up a decoy. Ah! Of course, I did get that decoy. There we go, did some damage to it set up another decoy. There we go, he left the hint. He used the kid as bait. Genius. Take out the pin cushion. Pin cushion's a pain in the ass right now, but luckily it doesn't do that much damage. It just whittles you down. Let's set up another one. Go for it, Ankle Gator. I'm out of black tonic now, but hopefully I don't need it anytime soon. Oh, there we go. I can use the Skyway. Where does it take me, though? Back to the Bastion? Hmm, maybe I had a chance to kill it, but I made the choice to instead just get away. Which is fine by me. Because I had no idea how that was going to go down. Hope Queen Anne don't mind us so now we've picked up a shard, which will allow us to upgrade something here in the Bastion. What did I upgrade last time? I think I upgraded the distillery. Now let's upgrade... Do I really want to upgrade the arsenal? I don't think so. Let's talk about this ankle gator egg first. Was just a folk tale. Now there's living proof she ain't. That's absolutely true. Plus, it nearly murdered me. How about you, Zia? What about the ankle gator the egg? Gator is a crazy gal, but so is the gal who promised to look after. Oh Lord, what have I done? I can whistle to the ankle gator. I'm not sure what it does. Oh, follow me. Okay. Um. Let's see, let's go over here to our foundation, and we will upgrade, or sorry, our forge, and we'll upgrade our forge. Gives us two additional upgrade tiers. Excellent! That's exactly what I wanted. Much, but that's the greatest forge yeah. Something city. greasy, something stringy, something coarse, something coarse for the musket. Let's go back to our lost and found here. Maybe I can buy some upgrades for the weapons I actually use. Upgrade for the fang repeater, absolutely. It wasn't fixed. An upgrade for the sail hammer? No. Don't want any increased spirits. What about these? Pike vault, final warning, with scrap musket, dueling pistols, war machete. No need for those. Let's head back to the arsenal and set up our weapons the way I like them. 
go back to the fang repeater here for a while. Because I was... I'm comfortable with it, what can I say? We'll take our something nasty. We've got enough money to upgrade it. Plus 50% damage or improved firing rate. Let's go with plus 50% damage again. I'm packing a pretty powerful punch with this thing right here. Now, thank you guys for letting me know that with the shrines, we can actually invoke the gods and then you see the increased experience and increased uh, fragments that you get. So let's see. Foe shall gain resilience to physical harm. Foe shall have vengeance in the throes of defeat. Foe shall strike with greater ferocity. Let's invoke Pith and get 10% experience and 10% extra fragments. Hmm. Is there anything else we're missing here? I don't think so. So let's just head out to wherever our next, the next shard, shard is. We go. Wild. Again, we've got a ton of proving grounds here. But we'll save those maybe for some off-camera grinding. And I will go pick up the shard in Point Lemain. Point Liman. Uh, yeah. I know my pronunciation has been an issue so far over the course of these videos. By the way, though, you guys are right. The no, narrator seems to be a nice touch. I'm sorry that I was so stubborn and it took me so long to turn him on. Point Lemain. Alright, so we do have Pith on right now. Hopefully this will allow us to level up a little bit faster. What's gonna happen right here? Oh man. Fang Repeater plus Dread Rum. Working pretty well right now. Although I've already been hit. The army's triggers once they have the place to go. Actually working really well right now. Army carbine. Well, I guess we're getting a new weapon. Kid might as well pick up when they left off. That works pretty well. Just like my fight days. Gun like that can even put the We've got a power shot as well, but I gotta figure out when's the right time to do it. There we go. Oh, that hurts. I didn't need the black tonic that badly. I really should have changed my skill as well, but... I don't know, that skill seemed to work pretty well last time. Oh. <laughs> oh man, this is... Kind of a... Um, cumbersome weapon right now. I think I want to use Fang Repeater right here, because I can kind of poke my head out and do some damage. Again, piecemeal rather than all at once. Got some health here. Which allows me to get Dread Rum again. I can take this guy out off camera. Oh lord. Please, not another, uh, you know, LSD fever dream. Oh, cool, looks like we got maybe kind of an on rails segment coming up. Where did I just go? Well, we can take these guys out pretty easily, I think. These guys stop coming when you're looking at them? Are they seriously just like the booze from Super Mario? If so, I can't believe it took me that long to figure it out. So we use a combination of both of our guns here. If we come across, there we go. We got, we got some kind of enemy here. Working pretty well so far. If I can take this guy out before he gets a beat on me. The only bad thing about this gun is that it's taking forever to load. Or to reload, I suppose, is the correct terminology for it. Whereas my Fang Repeater, you know, not to play favorites, but seems to be working pretty well in rapid fire. Oh, this guy again. Now this is a good situation for having that gun. Go, managed to take that out pretty effectively. Now which way should I go? Up here or down there? Oh lord. Okay. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna use my fang repeater because I gotta be quick on these guys. Or I could just get him to jump off the edge, I suppose. Heal, and then let's come over here, pick up some extra bananas and apples so we can get full health again. I'm getting dizzy here. Then maybe that was a bad way to go. I thought I could walk on that uh, that tree trunk right there. Oh god. Okay, I, I get it. You're angry. I'm sorry I didn't mean to take that alligator egg. That was probably the meal for you and your family. How are we going to take this guy out? Oh, like this. Takes yeah. of footwork on the okay. There we go. Haven't taken a whole lot of damage so far. Maybe down this way. Although this way seems... This is probably the story way. And this is probably some kind of bonus path to pick something up. Increase fragments and a little bit of extra health. Fine by me, but I do have to deal with this wallflower. 
Not a problem now that we have this new carbine. Hmm. Like, oh, I didn't even notice that lunkhead there. All right, come on. Take him back to an area where I can deal with him a little easier. Heal up. There we go. And then just let him sit on me so I take a ton of damage. Hmm. Stupid damage. My, my catchphrase in every single Let's Play. Can we take out this guy in one hit? Nope. <laughs> Bad idea. I angered the beast. He angered the beast. The kid didn't know what that Spearow could do. Uh, let's go down here, actually, because this should be another path where we can pick up something. What is that doing? Oh, I'm not that scared of it. Uh, it's pronounced pineapple. Do we have an arsenal here? Hmm, I don't know, but I kind of like the the weapon that we have right now. I'm going to stick with that for now. Add a little bit of variety. Okay, I get it. Thank you for the increased fragments and experience. I'll take out this cactus from Super Mario World in one hit. Timing. Pretty important on these, obviously. But again, I spent so much time using the Breaker's Bow, I actually understand how to do power shots now. Go. Easy counter. Feeling pretty good about my character build right now. Oh. What are you going to do to me? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Wallflower. Ah, I took some dumb damage, but it's okay. There's a potion somewhere down there. get their sign off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. You can't just build a railroad in somebody's hometown without asking them. It's a serious dick move. Oh, Lord. Okay, take out the, the pecker first. Heal up, because this could be a difficult fight here. I only got to get him a couple more times, but this is tricky maneuvering. Okay, thank God we got that other health tonic there. Starting to feel kind of confident in my abilities here, even though... I am still getting my ass kicked pretty frequently. There's our shard. There's the health tonic. Nice roll, if I do say so myself. Oh god. The pecker was really annoying. Alright, so we got these stinkweeds to take out. And these peckers, sadly. Stinkweeds are the biggest pain in the ass in the entire game. There we go. Now murder the stinkweeds. Oh god. Oh god. This is bad. I feel like I should be watching Super Troopers right now or something. This movie is so funny, man. Oh, God, okay. I feel like that's what I'm saying so much in this video. Oh, God, oh, man, oh, God. Bust open this wall with my gun. If I could actually aim that way. Oh, God, shoot open the wall. Maybe I should have gone with my, my sail hammer here. There's just too much going on right now. For me to deal with. Okay, shoot. Pick up something fancy. I don't even remember what that upgrades. Just yeah, shoot at the wall. There we go. One more time. Can't believe I made it. I was getting a little scared there. Probably faster to use my finger feeder here. Just roll through it. Did I make it? I think I made it. Narrator seems to be insinuating that I made it. Oh lord, that was the toughest thing we've had so far. I'm not sure I want to deal with this, uh, this situation right here, to be honest with you. This looks like a serious pain in the ass. There we go, one of them's dead. They've almost taken out my entire protection right there. Oh. Can I just counter this back to them? It doesn't seem to be hitting him. Really? It doesn't hit him at all, so let's just go to town then. Not just another there we go. Did I actually make it back to the Skyway? Why are all these shards disappearing? At first, he thinks it's Zolf. Hey, it's another new person. Who is hopefully not Zolf. Because I'm not sure I can deal with the boss fight right now. Good. This is for you, says the Is this another the survivor agreed to return back to the Bastion? No, it is not. It looks like Mama said knock me out. When the kid comes to, the man's long gone. There's something else. We got sealed there. notes. Well, what's a kid to do? Hmm. Well, I'm just a, as in the dark as you guys here. I took the shard. 
He took the hit, and he took that note. Well, two out of three ain't bad. We will probably end the video here, but first I have to ask Rux and the singer what the sealed note is all about. It straight to the heart of things, don't it? First, let's insert the shard. And what will I upgrade? To unlock the potential hmm. in place. Well, so let's upgrade the lost and found, because I, I tend to be buying things pretty frequently. We need an awful big lost and let's see what kind of new items they have. Well, tons of new items. They have new items for the... Nothing for the sail hammer, do they? Breaker's bow. Certain weapon, which I clearly do not have yet. Army. Carbine. I could really upgrade the pike. I've got two upgrades for that. And two more for the war machete and two more for the breaker's bow. What else do we have that's new here? 50% chance to turn zealous after defeating a foe. Well, zealous gained 200% damage for three seconds. That is pretty good. Gain some health by striking foes. Ooh, that's a nasty side effect, though. Gain some health while counter-blocking. You know, that is probably really useful. Gain some health by counter-blocking. Maybe we'll use that on uh, our next level up, which isn't actually for a while. Come, Ankle Gator. Uh, let's ask her about the sealed note here. The note says it plain. See ya. Go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely. Alright, so that note was for Zia, not for me. Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived. And what exactly Zolf told So we could be preparing for a war. Let's go check out our arsenal. We will get rid of the carbine, even though that was pretty useful. Take our sail hammer back. And is there anything I can do here at the forge? The Geordi LaForge? No, it doesn't seem so. Still missing three more weapons. For the next video, let's invoke a different god. We'll get rid of Pith, and we'll invoke... Javal? Javel. Javel. Okay, thank you for the pronunciation correction, Rux. Foe shall gain resilience to physical harm. Oh, that's only a 5% upgrade. Let's go with, uh... Akobi? Akobi? Ah, I actually got one. Foes will have vengeance in the throes of defeat. That's another plus 5%. How about, uh... Hensa? Oh, it doesn't even say it there. This is a 10%. Okay, so we'll go with that. We'll check out the other ones a little bit later. So, I'm going to end the video here. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Bastion.